Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is the space to ground, grow, and connect with magic and intention. May this video inspire you to come home to yourself and remind you of your own magic within. I hope this message reaches you with perfect divine timing. Now grab your favorite tea and let's go ahead and dive right in. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jess. If we're meeting for the first time, this is my altar, one of my outdoor altars because I have more than one. Um, I just felt really called to shuffle and pull cards today. I'm not going to have any type of crystals options to choose from. It just is what it is. My battery is low on my camera. I just knew that I wanted to channel and get this reading up for you guys. So there are going to be three piles to choose from. Again, there aren't any options to choose from. It just allow your intuition to pick and choose a number or listen to all of them. As I know so many of you guys do, it's totally up to you. But let's go ahead and start with the first reading, which I'm going to shuffle for every single one of them and then shuffle Oracle card for each of them. I'm just going to channel for every single one. Um, which is, I'm going to start off with pile number one. So, angels and guides from the highest lights of this universe. <sighs> what is the energy that needs to be heard and felt? It's interesting I'm getting this really strong pit in the bottom of my stomach. It's actually um, giving, it's kind of giving energy kind of similar to... Um, How, uh, like a drop in your blood sugar, uh, stomach virus or stomach condition, or something that makes your stomach drop, like a pit in your stomach, like a weird feeling in your stomach. But there's an, a lot of energy that's coming through here. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit wants to refer right away to um, being really, this pile needs to be <clears throat> really careful about diet and lifestyle. They, Spirit immediately wants to talk about diet and lifestyle, which is interesting too that I had that feeling that I had for this, for this pile immediately. Um, also, um, monitoring, this is a very specific message for someone, but monitoring, monitoring your blood sugar levels. Also, for some of you guys, it's like you, you might be detoxing or something or making a change in your diet and your lifestyle and the actual disposal of something, so getting rid of something, is making your body react and it makes you very uncomfortable. Like it's making you have some difficult side effects, Spirit is saying, to, to push through. For some of you guys, this might actually be um, medication that you stop taking or something that it... These are very specific examples, so take it how it resonates, but for some of you guys, it could be medication. For others of you guys, it's something that you're actually, have been guided to dispose of, to stop taking, to stop ingesting, to stop having it in your space. And there's almost like this immediate back backlash that is, is coming from this that makes you actually feel sick to your stomach. For some of you guys, you might even be experiencing some type of um, spiritual warfare where it doesn't, it's like you're doing the right thing, but there's some type of, uh, so, and now Spirit's kind of telling me to tell you to watch what you say. Um, watch what you say, who you say it to, especially when it comes to family and family on top of that, a friend, a female friend who is close to you, but and says that they want the best of you, but for the best of, for you, but not necessarily they don't necessarily want the best for you, especially if you're trying to do something better for your life. Spirit says that they're literally going to not they, the divine, the angels and the guides, not your friend. The the they they are the ones who are going to open the door and and usher in. They're, they are emphasis. I'm stuttering right now because I'm channeling really, really hard. Um, emphasis on the word ushering in because they're supporting this thing, this newness, this... I, I heard um, the word criteria, criteria. So there's something about like what 
you can cross off and say yes, 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 yes. For some of you guys, this is a one one tiny pivot or change in your life opens up the door for just huge, huge energy change, huge energy shift. It's when you let go of something. Something that I heard was was bringing you to a barren place and spirit is referring is bringing me back to talking to you guys about food and spirit says something about the food that you were eating or the energy that you're taking in it was poisonous to your body and for some of you guys it took a lot I just heard the word spirit says they want to say that you were brave and canceling out this connection or this lifestyle or this community because it feels very significant you're brave and getting out of there for some of you guys you're almost forced out of the situation and now that you're, when or I'll say this: when you're in, when you're in the space, when you're in the time, when you're in the season, when you're looking back at what you got forced out of, and you didn't want to necessarily leave it because it was comfortable for you, it was safe for you, it was working, it was quote unquote working, but ne it wouldn't necessarily always work out. Then you're starting to see, okay, I understand why this had to happen, but you're still uncomfortable and almost sick to your stomach within it. Like something about being in it makes you feel uncomfortable, but you understand why you have to go through this. Because, and then something I'm telling you guys, it's like something meets you up on the horizon and says we're ushering in, we're bringing in. Talk to me about the Four of Pentacles. Oops, sorry guys, I didn't. I'm kicked my um singing bowl there. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that. The World card and the Ten of Swords reverse though. So Spirit wants to to talk to you about the part of you that wants to reconcile. Jeez, we are going deep with this pile. I understand why Spirit wants me to channel and and get into this reading right now. Let me just kind of like move this here. Oops, I didn't realize it was so crooked. There we go. Spirit wants to talk to the part of you that wants to reconcile. And and literally they're saying, okay, whoa. Spirit said, hands up. <laughs> like they say, hands up. They, okay, wow. Spirit, okay. <laughs> Guys, bear with me now because I'm, <laughs> I'm like trying to. I'm trying to get through this reading because you guys are just, you have a lot of energy coming, coming through here. So um, Spirit says that, or, or how Spirit is coming through, they're talking about the fact that there was something here that was, I just heard, planned in advance. So Spirit, I don't know if this is you planning in advance or Spirit's plan for you to advance you or this, uh, this ultimate plan. And you, you know the plan, you, you know, uh, and Spirit keeps talking about the word poison. There's something here. I also hear, I'm also hearing who did and what. That's very specific. Who did and what? Like what, what was going on here? There's something here that felt toxic, poisonous, not good. And it's almost like you might be moving forward out of this, but you might be meddling somehow, some way. Spirit feels like you're meddling in the situation. And if you're going to detoxify, detoxify, let it go. Some of you guys, I feel like, um, I just heard like you have a connection or a cord to someone who has, this might actually be easier said than done. This might be like a family member or someone that you trust or that you love or that you normally spend your time with. But it's almost like you need to kind of advance. Uh, whoa. I was trying to say distance, but Spirit said advance. So as you make distance between you and them, you're actually advancing closer to this divine outcome. Spirit is specific on referring to divine outcome. But you have to commit to letting, I just heard, letting this chapter in your life cool off. It doesn't feel like a all or nothing, the end all be all. It just feels like a disconnection from some from some type of energy or some type of situation that wasn't supportive or healthy ultimately for you and where it is that you are destined to go. And now spirit wants to talk about page of cups. 
page of cups. The offer on the table. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. So we have two of wands, three of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the eight of pentacles. This is something that <clears throat> Spirit said should work. And as Spirit says the word should, it's it's all contingent. Am I saying that right word correctly? It all kind of hangs on your ability to show up and give your all to the right thing. Wow. Because if you are half in, half, half in, half out, you can really chase away a solid thing because you're not able to give it your all. And if you're half in, half out, that means that the part of you that's half out is half in on something that you should be walking away from. That's a very specific message. And Spirit wants you to give it your all. For some of you, I just keep hearing the word poison. There's something about the environment that is poisonous, toxic. Oh, wow. I just heard the word um, and then I lost it. It's like unassuming, like you wouldn't expect it to be so poisonous and so toxic, but when you're bringing it home, and by when I say when you're bringing it home, when you're bringing it in, into your space, or when you're literally bringing it into your home environment, when you're bringing it into your safe space, Spirit says that's a problem. That's a huge problem. They keep wanting to say the word advanced. You, They want you to look at it as far as... They want you to look at it as the as far okay hold on let me the like the depth and how far you can get away from the situation or make some type of distance you're not separating yourself or isolating yourself you're actually coming closer to the divine outcome there's something about the divine outcome whoa fresh start the fool fresh start new beginnings I just heard the way, exactly the way that it's supposed to be. And for some of you guys, you might not even trust in a new beginning right now because of all that you've experienced. But again, that's a part of, oh my God, and look at the bottom of the card. You have the Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, you might not even trust in a new beginning right now because of the way that it is that you've already experienced it. And again, that's why they just said, keep your mind open, keep your heart open, and keep your eyes on God. Keep your eyes on the divine. Keep your eyes on your higher self. Keep your eyes on your vision board. Stay focused. But also make that clean cut because the full card doesn't bring any baggage with it into this new, new, new start, fresh beginning. Believe that. Wow. All right, my loves. That was very clear. And now I'm going to move on to pile number two. So let me just cut and clear the deck as I blow out that candle. Angels and guides from the highest lights. Let's dive into pile number two. What is the message for those that chose number two? actually has very very beautiful energy actually I'm actually getting the vision of a river or being by the riverside and then I'm seeing this moon card here which I would never think I never th stopped to ask what type of body of water that she's at but at this point she's by the river some of you guys have been making offerings to the river wow and then we have king of cups pouring into the river Oh my god then we have the six of swords who is on the river then we have the page of cups who is by the river so interesting lots of water spirits here something about making an offer to the water spirits then we have four of pentacles three of wands spirit actually is wanting to talk to this pile about spiritual growth uh spiritual cleansing it feels light though they said the word accolades, and they want me to actually look at the definition of it, which I know what it means, but 
an award or privilege granted as a special honor or as an achievement or merit. A touch on a person's shoulders with a sword. Yeah, there's something about receiving a blessing here. And I think that's why Spirit is using the word accolade because I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but it's because you earned this blessing. Spirit um, is talking about like staying the course. I don't feel like you have a sense of doubt in your life. I just heard in this project or prospects. I'm here. I'm even hearing the word prospects. It's not that you have doubt in your prospects. You feel pretty confident. Like you pretty. You feel pretty solid. And even as I'm looking at this, we have King of Wands. So the energy is really interesting because it's saying. You don't, Spirit is saying you don't need, um, you don't need, you don't need to hear us tell you that you're on the right path because you have a sense that you're on it. But in the meantime, you might want to do like a head wash, like where you actually cleanse your, cleanse your head. This is when you have a lot of, you're on the right path, you're on the right track, but it might get a little congested in your energy. I had to do this very often. I'm, I'm Mercury. I'm ruled by Mercury like through and through and the moon. So it can get really congested in my own thoughts. So I have to actually cleanse them out. For some of you guys, you might be able to do this by the river. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. In the beginning of time, beginning of history, people would go to the river to, for baptisms, for purification, for cleansing, to push their energy, to walk into the river and to come out a different person. So for some of you guys, you're just, spirit is acknowledging the fact that that's what you've been doing lately or that's the path that you're on right now, or that you may need this. So this is an energetic cleansing, starting from the top of your head, actually. it's it's There's a pouring of like sacred water or holy water over your head. If you guys can't go to the river and do this, you can do this in a bath, you could do this in a sink. I actually have um, purification bath ritual soaks, guys. I'm up to my, over my ears in orders and readings right now, so I'm really hesitant to open up the shop for that because the apothecary is opening up um, officially July 6th. Oh, man. Very, very tempted to put that offering out there for you guys. If you need it, email me. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll make that little exception for right now. But, um, okay. Yeah, I just get so much... I just heard the words like calling in the shots. Some of you guys, spirit is not even trying to change this energy. They're just trying to acknowledge the energy, just saying that you have entered into a space or season in your life where you are really calling the shots in your own life. It's interesting that the emperor is reversed. It's interesting that the emperor is reversed because normally I would see this as a caution, but I act, wait, yeah. Normally I would see this as a caution, but I actually see this as a good thing that doesn't come with any additional messages outside of the fact that I just think that you're unassuming. Like you're not... You're not you're not doing too much. You're not asking for too much. You're not asking for too little. You're just... Interesting, I heard some of you guys have been cooking meals. Like, I've been doing that too, so I can relate to you on that. But you guys have been like cooking more like meals if there's something about slowing down, like really slowing down. Something about a recipe that's been passed on from one generation to the next generation or it's skipped over and then it falls into your hands or you feel gravi you're gravitating towards something, like something similar. Like let's say you're scrolling through Pinterest or something and you find a recipe that resonates with you. If you sit with it, you might see the connection between this current recipe and something that your ancestors would have made. There's something very specific about that. And that's just spirit's way of, and your ancestors' way of continuing to protect you and pour into you and to nourish you. But this message is very, very specific. They feel like you are on the right. There's something about you calling the shots. So if some of you guys are lacking in confidence, I would say that your ancestors are giving you the voice. Yeah, Treasure Island, see, everything is working out. 
I was like, I was not fumbling through this reading, but I'm like, I'm a Virgo, so I try to find the problem. I don't necessarily feel anything. It just feels like you're on the right track. Treasure Island card is like you just being who you are and doing what you're doing brings in the reward. Point blank. It's very good. I love this reading. So interesting because it started off very like cathartic. Total change from the first pile. So I'd be, it's interesting if you chose all three piles. Yeah, round and round. Interesting because I feel like this is how all things kind of connect ultimately. Yeah, it's funny because I, I wanted to break down the number 25 and it breaks down into the number seven. And this is the number of divinity that everything is meant to, like everything comes from this higher space of rest and, and of purpose that even in the rest, it's divinely aligned. It all comes in together. It all works out together. Let me shuffle one more card. Poised. I mean, I couldn't make it up. This is literally the energy is just like, you're right. You're, you're, you're on the money. You're ready. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's three. That's about being receptive, your ability to receive. And then I'm looking at the number three here, three of wands, a message, something that I just heard the word, um, spirit says that for something coming in into the future, just make sure that you are keen on your articulation is what spirit said so be very mindful and aware of how you articulate articulate yourself be very clear and precise sometimes saying less is more just get your point across this is especially so for some of you guys that are entering into new chapters new jobs new 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 territory where that's where the cleansing will help you where you're not bringing in any type of um i don't want to say like slang because that's not the right thing but it's like something that you, you just want to yeah happy happy you're gonna be very happy about this i love this these this reading for you guys you just want to be prepared you want to be ready um this is about looking like showing up maybe that might be it with the emperor reversed this is someone who is always going to be ready and prepared but when he's reversed it's like catching the emperor outside off of his throne with his sweatpants on don't be that guy Okay, so I hope this reading resonates, you guys. That's a very positive reading. My battery is low, so hopefully I won't have the channel for too long on the third pile. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, my love, if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. It may cut off because the battery is low. But I'll just switch to my camera or my phone if that's the case. Let me see what type of energy I'm picking up on. I just heard, um, I could buy myself flowers. What's the second, whatever the second lyric is in that song, something about that is significant. Oh my God, two of cups. How beautiful. Uh-oh. Spirit's talking about fairness, like fairness in partnership. Even though the two of cups is coming up here, they want to talk about, yeah, someone might feel a little down and out here. I just heard the word lethargic. Um, someone's just, and now that when I looked at the word, when I heard the word lethargic, I looked over and I saw the Knight of Swords. And this is someone who's just out on the battlefield, taking hits, blows, protecting the fortress. This, and then we have the Lover's card here and the Magician card here, King of Swords. There's energy here about, um, like, it's interesting because it's giving me Game of Thrones type of energy. Like, there might be a whole war going on outside, but my, it's like someone having coming in from the war to have dinner with their partner. And it just kind of helps through the war. That's a very specific message, but for some of you guys, it's really about being kind to your partner, being kind to yourself. Even if you're, even if the world is raging outside around you. The judgment card is here, reversed, and it talks about not hearing the call. So there's something about not running to the battlefield, whatever the battlefield looks like to you. Like you hear something and you would normally grab your arms and jump in and fight or pursue or chase or whatever the case is. And this is like, I'm going to ignore it. 
And it almost feels like that's the advice. Not it almost feels, that is the advice. There's something about coming together. Yeah, Knight of Cups. I was going to say, it's it actually is giving romance. It's like um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That movie with Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt where it's them being pitted against each other but somehow they find their rhythm I'll say that they find their rhythm with each other and find love with each other and they make it work even though and then we have four of cups here so this is you guys saying and it feels very relationship oriented but this is you guys or you saying you know what I'm just going to say no to this I would normally jump up when I hear this call but now I'm not going to it's about putting something into prayer like putting something into perspective what your priority is and with the lovers card here and the two of cups here there's something about union and coming together even with the strength card here with the beast and the woman coming together it's about I'm I'm folding into you because I respect you because I love you because I cherish you and I cherish us us and I cherish this so there's something here that wants to be healed the star card reversed there's a need for healing for some of you guys you might be if this is an individual thing you might be so called or so accustomed to showing up as the magician the doctor the healer the worker the fixer Especially with the King of Swords, it's the person who has all the answers, who has all the solutions. And there's something here, again, look, Seven of Swords about escaping and not showing up when people call for you because there's something else here that needs to be tended to in your more intimate world, in your more intimate environment. And something about drawing that closer to you. Then we have the higher font reverse. It breaks tradition for you to even do this because you, again, are normal, normally the fixer, the healer. The person with all of the answers so what are they going to do without you they're going to have to figure it out because you have to do something for your relationship or you have to do something for yourself look at this guys i was just talking about that the five of wands the knight of cups i'm sorry the knight of wands and the queen of pentacles the person who is reliable to show up and to give queen of pentacles is feminine energy she's all about giving how she's and how this person shows up to give and five of wands is literally the the fight the battle wow guys wow guys you have the tower card and the hangman card hangman this is showcasing the fact that it will literally shock people out of their shoes how much you refuse to show up and fight the same fight a battle and honestly this changes your luck this changes the whole situation it changes the whole game changes your luck for the better there's something here about not jumping in when the whole world expects you to and going where your heart wants you to go or where the healing needs to happen very very specific message let's shuffle the oracle this card peace oh my gosh I can't make it up the opposite of war is literally peace. Wow. Chop wood. Again, it's what's expected of you. Also, this might be the routines. It's the maintenance of taking care of yourself, taking care of your relationship, taking care of love. Imagine, and we have building blocks, yeah. So this is about what you're building together or what you're building for yourself right now. I don't know why I heard with the word imagine. I heard the word portal. So some of you guys, your imagination is going to act like, or that part of your brain is going to open up as a portal to access unconditional love or the divine or some form of tremendous healing. I love that. Well, that's a very specific message, but that's where it's at. I'm sorry that, that was so short. Literally, your reading was like six minutes long, but it feels very specific. It feels very forward. It feels very cut and dry that that's what it is. There's something about, again, like loyalty and love and commitment. And even as I'm saying that, we have loyal heart here. What is your heart loyal to? Do your actions re reflect that? Especially if this is about taking care of... Sorry, guys, my camera went out um, as expected because the battery, but do your actions reflect what... Well, your actions will reflect what you're loyal to. Um, so make sure that you are not leaving anything to the imagination with that. Meaning like that something can't run with 
what they believe your actions are showing them. Even though you may be loyal to that person or you say that you're loyal to your health or your healing or to the betterment of yourself, there's a lot that's left to the imagination to make you, make you or someone else think otherwise. So that's a very specific message here. Very short, sweet, and to the point. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, Bahati Love Notes is available to you guys, especially now. Um, the Apothecary is closed down somewhat um, while I'm catching up on orders and readings with a hard opening on July 6th, but there's a secret opening before that, and I'm gonna be sending out that date in the newsletter, Bahati, Love, Bahati Life newsletter. This is as a promise for those that want to jump on the magical goodies and always find that they might be sold out or unavailable or whatever the case is, especially now. I'm scaling back on the amount of things that it is that I do because I want to build more around myself and not stressing myself out um, or overburdening myself with orders and stuff like that, especially as I enter into the new year. Lots of good positive changes there, but more changes revolving around myself and my own garden. Um, so I will be working my magic, of course. That's always going to be there. That's always going to be present because that's who I am as a person. Um, but yeah, just, uh, but the best way, if you guys are looking for readings now moving forward, if you haven't already booked a reading with me, is Bahati Love Notes. It's the membership, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I did have it at 15. You guys, I think I kind of want to bring it back down to five, just because I know that times are tough for a lot of people. And we just have such an amazing circle there. Oh, man. And I, some people are just, I think it would be better for the five dollar tier. I know I go up and down, but isn't that life sometimes? All right, my loves, I'm sending you all of my love and thank you so much for hanging out. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if this helped you and served you. And if not, if you're coming in and going out and passing, it was an honor to read for you. And I will see you, maybe our paths will align. For everyone else, I'll see you guys in my next video.